What? Three mistakes in Stanton? What do you mean? Well, hang on. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But I'm also going to take you into three new neighborhoods here in Stanton that I haven't shown you before. You don't want to miss out on that, so hang around to the end. But we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, living, playing here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and in towns like Stanton, Virginia, then just click on that subscribe button and touch that bell icon so that you can be the first to be notified about all the current real estate market here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. Hi, my name is Stephan Gleason along with my wife Leslie and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to sell their home here in the Shenandoah Valley or looking to buy a home here in the Shenandoah Valley and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to sell a home or make a move in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. That information's all in the description down below and we'll be happy to help you make your move to Virginia's mountains and valleys as smooth as possible. Now, as I mentioned, Three mistakes about Stanton. What do you mean by three mistakes about Stanton? Well, I figured I've done videos on Stanton before and a lot of the towns around the area here, and why not have a little fun? So what I've done is I'm gonna go into Stanton and talk a little bit about the town of Stanton. And what I do during the video, I'm going to mention three things that are incorrect about Stanton. I wanna see if you can find what those three things are and let me know in the comments down below. Now, in addition, I told you that we're gonna go in and we're gonna see three new neighborhoods. Now, all of these neighborhoods, all the homes in here are built pretty much for 20 years or less, so they're newer homes, but they're also new to the fact that I haven't shown you these neighborhoods before. So, with that being said, none of the mistakes that I make will be in the neighborhoods or will be about the homes that I talk about in the neighborhoods. Only when I'm out in the town of Stanton and I'm talking about Stanton. So, looking forward to having a little fun. I hope you'll comment down at the bottom. Let's see if you can find all three mistakes that I talk about in Stanton. Of course, one of the neatest things about Stanton is some of the views that, that you get. And you can see behind me here, uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. And right now I'm currently at one of the observation points at Betsy Ann Wilderness Park here, right in the middle of Stanton. And several feet above the rest of the city, you can hear the city down below, but up here there's a nice, cool, peaceful breeze and some great, great views of the mountains as well. There's biking trails and there's hiking trails around uh, Betsy Ann Wilderness Park as well. So if you're looking for a hike, it's gonna be an uphill hike, depending on which way you're going, if you're going up or starting at the downside. So, but get your hiking shoes on, get your biking gear together, and maybe Betsy Ann Wilderness Park is a great place for you to spend a day. But with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into our first neighborhood and show you that first home. So the first neighborhood that we're in is the Collingswood neighborhood. And as you can see, hope you can see them anywhere. There's some beautiful views of the Appalachian Mountains from this neighborhood here. And we're on the northwest side of Stanton. Uh, we're about uh, five to seven minutes from downtown Stanton. The, uh, we're right off of the uh, Woodrow Wilson Bypass here in Stanton, Highway 262, which goes all the way around Stanton. Uh, you're looking at about a seven, only a seven to eight minute drive to get to the interstate from here and about 15 minutes to get out to where you need to get to Walmart and uh, some of your other areas that you'd like to shop on Highway 250 in town. Um, you're going to see this neighborhood, a lot of primarily townhomes. It's a smaller neighborhood, but a lot of, like I say, a lot of townhomes. And if you're looking to get into the area, uh, these townhomes are uh, very uh, efficiently priced. Most of them are going to run you from about uh, 200, the mid 200s to about the low 300,000s. There is a small area here as well as some single family homes also. Um, as far as the build dates in here, you're looking at about uh, 7 to 13 years ago when most of these were built, so you're really looking at a lot of newer homes in this neighborhood. The home I wanted to take a look at here, though, is right here. Uh, this home uh, is currently has a contract on it. As you can see, it's an end unit here in the townhouse. Uh, it was listed for $259,900. It was built in 2009. Uh, it has three bedrooms and two baths. One of the great things about it is, is that the 
main uh, bedroom is the master bedroom is on the main floor, uh, which is a really nice feature to have. Of course, you have a nice one car garage there as well. It has a total of 1,631 square feet of finished living space, both upstairs and downstairs. And you break that down, that's only $159 a square foot. And like I say, it's a smaller lot. It sits on 0.8 of an acre. But uh, again, like I say, really nicer, newer area, kind of on the outskirts of town. So it's kind of nicer, quieter out here. You've got sidewalks on both sides of the street. And it's kind of a nice little niche, nice little neighborhood to get in here. Uh, in the outskirts of Stanton. I think Stefan is having just a little too much fun with you all today in trying to find the mistakes around Stanton. Hope you're enjoying it. Let's talk about some interior features of the homes that he featured in today's video. In home number one, it had some vaulted ceilings and it is well a gas fireplace, but I love those hickory cabinets in the kitchen as well as the granite countertops. It may not be a very large kitchen in this home because it is a villa style home. So it is a smaller floor plan there, but they packed a lot inside this home. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's move on down the road. So one of the neatest things about Stanton is the downtown shopping and restaurant area. You can see behind me here, all the way down the street, shopping and then all the way back up this way as well. There's just shopping and the architecture in the downtown here is absolutely amazing as well. And like I say, right across the street, you got a nice old cigar shop here. And then you've got some jewel a jewelry store. You've got a music store on down. You've got a, a game type store uh, on down this street as well. And then you see the red sign there, it says on Fridays, no parking after four o'clock. The reason there's no parking after four o'clock on Fridays is because, as I've mentioned in our videos before, all of the street, uh, the restaurants here in the downtown, they close this street off and it all becomes a community area where seats and chairs and tables are out here and people eat on the streets and just talk to one another and have a great time on Friday and Saturday evenings. And of course, like I say, it's just a really neat downtown area. And then you go up to the top of the hill on the left, you have the Theodore Roosevelt Presidential Library, our 26th president of the United States there, that you can tour and you can visit the library up there as well. And just a really, really neat place to be. So we're here in the Bell Creek neighborhood and if you like colonial revival style homes, this is the neighborhood for you. There are a lot of those style of homes here in this neighborhood. Uh, this neighborhood is actually just literally right across uh, Churchville Avenue uh, from the other neighborhood that we just saw Collingswood as well. And so you're very conveniently located to the Woodrow Wilson bypass around town. Uh, and of course, it's about the same distances exactly as we talked about in the other part, the first part of the video, to the shopping area, to downtown Stanton, and to the interstate as well. Uh, the homes in this neighborhood are started being built back in the mid uh, 2000s, 2005, 2006, and uh, there are still homes that are being built here today. Um, most of the homes in this neighborhood are going to run you, as far as the price goes, anywhere in the 300,000s for the most part, for the low to the high. So, uh, but that being said, not, a couple other nice things. It's got some nice sidewalks here in the neighborhood, and. Uh, like I say, it's very convenient to get on and off the bypass here and can get you out into the Shenandoah Valley and other places very quickly. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you our focus house right up here up the road in just a second. So as I mentioned, a lot of the homes in this neighborhood are the colonial revival style. If I show you down the street here, you just kind of get an idea of what that just looks like. It's very pretty here on this street. Uh, the home that I'm coming up here, uh, behind me here, if you can see, uh, it uh, was it's currently sold. It was actually listed for $350,000, but sold for $370,000. So a very desirable property here in the neighborhood. Uh, it was built in 2019. 
It has three bedrooms, uh, two and a half baths, 1,857 feet of finished square, square feet of finished living space. If you break it down, that's about 200, excuse me, $100, $199 uh, per square foot. Yeah, the lot size uh, is 0.14 of an acre. In home number two today, I'm sure you appreciated that stereotypical white picket vents in the front of the house. Well, let's talk about some of the features that are inside. That kitchen has some granite countertops as well as some stainless steel appliances that you would be able to appreciate. The hardwood floors were pretty as well as that walk-in shower that is all tiled. And so let's go ahead and let's move on down the road. So I brought you around the corner and I had to bring you to a really cool toy and bookstore and that is Puffer Bellies. And uh, I'll take you in and show you a little bit around the store here, but a lot of neat games and things to do for kids. And every weekend, I think they do it every weekend, they have bubbles that come off the top out here while right across the street over here is a really nice farmer's market. It fills up, not this parking lot, but it fills up that entire parking lot on the other side of the street over there. And that's on Saturdays. I started a week or two ago, as a matter of fact. And so, if you're looking for a nice farmer's market and a shop through town, come to Puffer Bellies, come to some of the downtown shops here. You probably won't regret it. It's a really neat place to shop. So we're here in the Old South Village, and uh, Old South Village has some absolutely amazing views. I'll turn around here, let you peek over my shoulder here, and as you can see, you can see a lot of the Blue Ridge Mountains from Old South uh, Village. But uh, this particular neighborhood is located uh, just a little bit north of Stanton, uh, off of Highway 11. Uh, it's actually just a little bit north of the Ingleside Resort Golf Course. Uh, it's actually closer to downtown Verona than it is Stanton, but it is still within the uh, Stanton uh, mailing address in the Stanton city. Uh, you're about five minutes from Interstate 81 from this neighborhood, and you're about 10 to 20 minutes to the uh, area where you off of Highway 250, where you're going to do a lot of your shopping and Walmart and Lowe's and things like that. Um, and then you're again probably about 10 minutes or so to downtown Stanton. One of the nice things about this community as well is that it's one way in and one way out and there's several different uh, roads and cul-de-sacs that go off to the side of each one of the main roads here. Uh, most of the homes in here were built starting in about 2013 and uh, they're still building as you'll see when I drive through the neighborhood here. A lot of new building going on, multiple homes for sale right now in this neighborhood as well. In this particular neighborhood, a home is going to run you from about the upper threes to the low fives in this neighborhood. But like I say, uh, homes that are 10 years old or less, 10 years young or less, and with some great views, you can see some nice sidewalks, very well-kept yards, and just a really, really neat uh, neighborhood to be in here, Old South Village. Well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to show you one of the homes here uh, in Old South Village. So we're here at our focus home in Old South Village, and uh, the home that you see behind me, uh, actually had a contract on it within four days. Uh, it was listed at $469,500. It was built in 2012, so right about that 10-year mark. And it has three beds and three baths. It has a total of 1,885 finished square feet of above ground living space, and then it has an additional 790 feet below ground. The average price per square foot is about $249 a square foot if you break it down for the finished square footage of the house. And the lot sits on 0.21 acres, and 
man off the back of this boy what's some views that you have here so and finally in home number three today it was a beautiful home featuring a double-sided fireplace meaning that you could sit outside see that fireplace as well as from the inside of that home featuring some very tall ceilings as well in that living room, the granite countertop, the stainless steel appliances, the hardwood floors. But as you all know, I enjoy a very good cup of coffee. And if I had some place that had some amazing views, like the one in this home with the covered deck, it's all screened in as well as having some curtains up there to block out the morning or the evening sun if you didn't want to get too hot out there while you are enjoying those amazing views. Well, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on down the road. So another really great thing about Stanton is the fact that within 5, 10, 12 minutes of downtown Stanton, you have access to four different golf courses. And today I'm here at Gypsy Hill, which is a city course. Uh, it's actually one of the oldest courses in the area. It, it began operations in 1919. And uh, if you're looking for a, uh, a course, it's not very long. It's under 6,000 yards, even from the back, uh, back tees. But uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't come with some surprises and some tricks. You've got some smaller greens in some cases. You've got some undulating greens as far as false fronts and things like that. And then uh, you've got some pretty narrow fairways on some of the holes. And the biggest defense that it has is I don't think you're ever going to get a flat shot unless you're on a tee <laughs> here because uh, there's a lot of hills out here on the course. But, but like I say, it's just uh, another place you can see. I don't see it or not, but the mountain views again behind me. And, just a really, really nice thing. Like I say, Stan does a really good job of having recreation and multiple different parks here in the area. And uh, so like I say, if you're in the area and uh, come on out and play Gypsy Hill. Uh, it's very affordable. They have a twilight rate in the afternoon after two o'clock for 20 bucks on the weekdays and 25 bucks on the weekend. So you just can't beat it. Video and question for you. Did you find the three things about Stanton that were incorrect? I hope you did, and I, I hope you'll comment down in the comments down below and uh, let us know that you did. I'd love to see how many people actually found those. You know, one thing about real estate is you don't want to make mistakes when buying or selling a property. And, you know, certainly it's very important to choose a realtor that has done this for quite a while and also for somebody that knows the area that they're in. And, you know, Leslie and I, we have that experience and we love to help people and we love the area that we live in. I hope that's evident in our videos. But um, like I say, if you are interested in purchasing a home or selling a home, you know, pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us that email. We truly do want to help you make the wisest decision that you possibly can when it comes to selling your home or purchasing a home as well. You know, I figured we'd come back here to the observation point here at Betsy Bell Wilderness Park. This is just a, another reason why Leslie and I absolutely love the Shenandoah Valley. Here we're looking at the Blue Ridge Mountains and although the sun is setting in the west, it's uh, sometimes some evenings we get the alpine glow as it's called and we absolutely love living here. And so, like I say, uh, we'd love to help folks when they give us a call. We love the area that we live in and we'd love to help you if it's right for you. So like I always say, at the end of every video. Until next time, we'll see you around town.